So we got Bill Burr on Wired. Bill Burr answers the web's most searched questions. And oh, I want to know what they are. Let's go. Hello, I'm Bill Burr, and this is the Wired Autocomplete interview. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Bill you know what my favorite thing is when they say, you know, he has offbeat good looks. That means if you weren't famous, you'd be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Oh. What is Bill Burr's best special? This okay. is like saying, which child do you like the most? Sophie's Choice. I love Paper Tiger because I was in England and I loved the challenge of that. And I loved Red Rocks because it wasn't even what I did, it was the crowd. And what I loved was how it was mic'd, you could hear the crowd. And if you can get through my jokes on the special, just listen to the audience. I just, I would just say some, every once in a while I would say something really random and stupid. And people would laugh at the ridiculousness of it, but you always hear like one guy just go like, yeah, it wasn't a joke. It's just like, yeah, that's, that's what I, I, I think that too. That makes sense. Was Paper Tiger, um, was that the black and white one? Am I wrong? I've seen clips of that. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen that. I've seen, was that, is that the one? Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Anyway. That's, that's what I, I, ahead, I think that too. That makes sense to me. What episodes Bill Burr Breaking Bad? I did the car wash one first. Oh, then I did the one with Lavelle Bad. Crawford. But a guy drops the oranges and bangs his head. And I got to be in uh, Saul Goodman's office, which was crazy. Because I was such a, an insane fan of that show. I probably got in, I think, two, three seasons in. And I remember going in to Saul Goodman's office where he had the Injustice for All, whatever he had, We the People of the Constitution thing above his desk. I felt like I got sucked into my TV. It was incredible. And I did the train robbery and I got to drive that, that, that big dump truck. I remember the stunt guy was like nervous going like, well, you don't know what you're doing. I go, well, I'm only going half a mile an hour. I just let the clutch out and give it gas. I was young, I didn't know what I was doing. I don't know if I answered your question. I mean, I'm sure it's on IMDB. <laughs> what am I, your secretary? What? You know, quiet is kept. Bill Burr has a lot of dope roles. If you think about it, the boy was on um, The Mandalorian, Breaking Bad. I'm not quite sure what else, but those two, those, that's big. That's big. It's Bill Burr. Oh, by the way, Patreon is going crazy right now. I got three videos up there. Go check that out. You feel me? The link's in the description. If you didn't know, the, um, yeah, I got Bill Burr's Philly rant up there. and Woo! Go watch my reaction, because it's epic. I mean, I'm sure it's on IMDb. Fuck, am I your secretary? What Bill made Bill Burr famous? The Philly rant. <laughs> what made Bill Burr famous? What made me famous? 30 years on the road, seven specials. I mean, I was definitely a ham and egger. I was not... Uh, so you can see, blessed in the looks department. You know what's funny? I did a movie one time, and we were shooting outside. And on like three different occasions on that shoot, someone would drive by and be like, hey, Bill Burr, go fuck yourself. Yeah. And I'd be like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> what helicopter does Bill Burr fly? Like most people who learn to fly helicopters, I started off with Robinsons. And then I wanted to move up, and I was just like, these things are expensive as hell. And um, fortunately, there's this company called uh, Cabri it makes the gimbal Cabri G2 for you non-helicopter pilots it's a three-bladed system it's a baby a baby a star which is what the police and uh, news people fly I've oh, flown okay, a I bunch of I've rented them and stuff like that the bigger ones and I just find like a little two-seater so it's funny whenever I fly a bigger one I'm always paranoid that the door is open because I'm used to the, like the door touching me as I'm sitting there flying <laughs> what is Bill Burr Low-key, Bill Burr, in a way, is kind of like Snoop Dogg. I said this in a way, people are going to be like, Now, I mean, like, Snoop Dogg is clearly, he clearly beat the game and is just doing whatever he wants at this point. It, he's not to the same level as Snoop Dogg, because Snoop Dogg does, has done everything. But I will say, a, a comedian who, has, who is in the Star Wars franchise, who can also rescue you from, from a... <laughs> In a helicopter. There's something about that guy. He's a jack of all trades. And he's just an angry bear. Not bad. Okay. Like in real life. I am an inquisitive person. I try to stay just ahead of my depression. 
And if I'm learning something new, it's exciting, it's challenging, it's embarrassing because I'm making mistakes, but I don't have to listen to the demons. It shuts them up, okay? They start talking around 11, 15, 11, 16 every night. And that's when the booze used to come. Not anymore though. <laughs> Next one, there we go. Did you get paid as like a hand model like back in the day? So when is Bill Burr gonna shut up? No. When is Bill Burr going on tour? Great question. I just started up my umpteenth thousandth tour this year. And this is my favorite hour and a half that I've been doing on stage. I'm getting ready to do a special. It's an uh, oh, unbelievable amount of fun to be on the road right now because there's so much serious stuff going on. People need to laugh and they need something silly. Actually, if there's any comedians watching, if you're feeling the gloom that most of us feel go on stage and just try to be a little silly it actually makes it makes you lighter i can't explain it what i don't think there's ever a time and i and i've watched comedians athletes movie stars musicians all say this and they always say this every year since i've been alive for they go man there's so much going on right now we just need to smile i don't think it's a right now thing I think it's a humanity thing. Even if you listen to Marvin Gaye, uh, what did he say? What's going on right now? Like, no more peace. Yeah, that, this is something that we just, as human beings, I feel every year, we forget. Nostalgia makes us think the past was better than the present, and it's not. I guarantee you, if you really take an analytical look at life, every year of your life has not been... The 365 is pretty comparable to the other 365. There's tragedies every year. There's good things every year. But the older we get, we tend to forget the tragedies and only the good things. So, yeah. I see people. I saw somebody nostalgic for 2012. And I was like, bro, do you not remember 2011? And when everybody thought the world was going to end? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Oh, human beings. Stage and just try to be a little silly. It actually makes it makes you lighter. I can't I like explain it. When did Bill Burr move to me. L.A.? I moved here with my lovely wife in uh, yeah. two, September 2007. And two weeks later, I bought a Prius. I just went all in. <laughs> when did Bill Burr start comedy? I started comedy in uh, March of 1992, 32 years ago. I started at Nick's Comedy Stop. I started yeah, in damn. Boston. I've always believed. He's basically been doing comedy longer than I've been alive. Or about to, God damn, you are a vet. You are a veteran, bro. To think there is nothing in my life that I could be doing anywhere near as long as you've been doing comedy other than breathing. <laughs> that might be the only thing I have to <laughs> believe that I have lived. I really like this because I always see Bill Burr in his, like, either his podcast, comedy stuff. Uh, stand up. I don't watch a lot of interviews. This is dope. I wish they would do this for more comedians and more people. This is dope. I, I know they do do it for more people, but Bill Burr was not somebody I thought that would get one of these. I've always believed that I have lived a charmed life because what are the odds that I wanted to be a stand up comedian and I was living in Boston? The greatest stand up comedy scene in the country, I feel, and they, it just had absolute murderer's row of headlining comics there that you could learn from. Kevin Knox. Frank Santarelli, Steve Sweeney, Don Gavin, Tony V, Bob Seibel, Rich Sicer, all of these guys. They all had their different own styles. Kenny Rogerson, Mike Donovan. One of the best things about starting off in Boston was you knew what killing was. Where I went down to this tri-state area and I saw some of those city comics and people like that. They, oh, dude, I slayed, I killed. And I remember thinking like, I mean, you had a good set. I, I wouldn't say you killed. You weren't Noxy Tuesday night at Nick's Comedy <laughs> Stop killing. All right, here we go. How did Bill Burr end up Educated. on The Mandalorian? I ended ah. up on The Mandalorian uh, through John Favreau, who uh, listened to my podcast. Used to always hear me making fun of Star oh, Wars, Wars yeah. and thought it was funny. Ended up meeting him at a mutual friend's birthday party. He goes, you know, there's a part in there that we're writing right now and we think you would be good for it. And I was like, you know, John, I, I gotta be honest with you. I always kind of make fun of Star Wars. Not in a malicious way. It's just, I just see people really enjoying something and I just know, well, that's an easy hit. If I make fun of it, I can really just watch them get upset. And, you know, it fills up my day for whatever reason. He goes, no, no. He goes, I know, I, I've heard it. I think it's hilarious. I think your fans would think it was funny if you were on this show. By then, you know, my better half, Nia, was kicking me under the table. And I was like, all right, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So I get down there 
and the first scene I'm doing, I'm in a spaceship, and I'm the only guy that looks like a person. Everybody else has all this, this crazy makeup on. And I'm sitting in there, and I literally feel like I'm in the Muppets Take Manhattan. So <laughs> we're gonna rehearse the scene, and I'm trying not to laugh. The actors were so amazing, I immediately, that all went away. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna get my ass kicked in this. And I was totally locked in, and I ended up having a great time. John showed me a trailer of the first season of The Mandalorian. My jaw was on the ground because it was like a spaghetti western. It would look like Clint Eastwood was doing Star Wars. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I almost stuck my foot in my mouth and didn't get in this. And it's one of the, my favorite things I've ever done in my career. And I will say Star Wars fans are cool as hell. Okay, there we go. You know what's funny? As somebody who's been watching Bill Burr's podcast for so many years, I couldn't even tell you now. He, it, when he popped up on The Mandalorian, I was so confused because Bill Burr was somebody who used to ro who roast Star Wars and Star Wars fans in his thing. But one thing I always noticed by watching his podcast, as somebody who roasts and has been roasted a lot, you can always tell when somebody is roasting something, but they know too much. Bill always knew a little too much about Star Wars, where he'd be like, oh yeah, the best skin armor? <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> what, you're gonna go to Tatooine? He's like, hey, you know, you over here roasting it, but you goddamn watch it, nigga, I know you do. <laughs> Cause he would literally be roasting it too accurately. And he would know things that I was like, yeah, you're not a casual fan, you know what I mean? Because I would say I am just above a casual fan of Star Wars. I know a little bit more than the casual. And the things that he would throw, I'd be like, you, I know you, bruh. I haven't been a fan of Star Wars in a long time. I'm not going to lie to you since the new trilogy, really. But after the first one, I really haven't been. We can get into Kathleen Kennedy all day. I, I don't want to do that. Let's get back to this learning more about our thing. Bill Burr. This is cool. My career and I Hit thumbs up on this if you want more of this kind of off the beaten path stuff, not just stand up. Uh, these comedians, good comedians like Bill Burr, find a way to be funny in everything, bro. One of the, my favorite things I've ever done in my career, and I will say Star Wars fans are cool as hell. Okay. There we go. That's is from what he used getting to a little say. defensive. Is Bill going to wrap this up? Was Bill ever going to get a hair system? Is Bill ever going to admit that it's not us, it's him? Is <laughs> Bill Burr it's a Patriots like fan? Yes, absolutely. All the way back to Jim Plunkett. I love the Patriots, whether they're good or bad. And I actually really enjoy how much fans are giving me a rough time right now because the Patriots aren't good. Because all I hear is we're so relieved that you're not kicking our ass anymore. <laughs> is Bill Burr a drummer? That's debatable. I play he drums. Drums. I always say I'm a guitar center drummer. I'm a dad drummer. You know what I mean? If you need like a cover, I can do a decent cover. I could be in a wedding band, but an actual <laughs> drummer, like, uh, you know, somebody comes in with a riff, you have to come up with a drum part that fits that and not only complements it, hopefully elevates it. That's a musician. Is Bill Burr in Reservation Dogs. Yes, I am. I play uh, Another movie. Coach Bobson. They actually um, asked me to come back a second time, but unfortunately I was editing a movie I did called Old Dads, so I didn't get to do it, and it's, it kills me because they wrapped up that show. They were building something, and uh, the people I worked with on that, you know. Don't, don't listen to these people that talk about Holly. There's a lot of great people in this business. All right, is Bill Burr nice? Bill Burr is literally one of those people who talks about people in Hollywood. God, it's why I love Bill. <laughs> Am I nice? You would have to ask other people. I try to be nice. All right. Is Bill Burr he got off that political? Question, I don't watch CNN. I don't watch Fox News. I don't pay attention to elections. However, I'm more interested on in what corporations are doing and what they're getting away with and why people are allowing it and why, if you're running for office, if you start to say that that's what they're doing, they just tar and feather you. I like what's behind it is kind of what uh, fascinates me. Does Bill Burr go to therapy? Yeah, I haven't in a while. I will say that yeah, the, biggest, the biggest change for me is I, I took mushrooms. What I love about that drug is it doesn't make you want to do more. It makes you want to deal with your life. Bill Burr, Bill Hader. Oh, to choose? 
between the two? I mean, that's a no-brainer. You got to go Bill Hader all day. Bill Hader is arguably the greatest impressionist I've ever seen. I fucking we love Bill start, Hader. We got to start getting impressions. We got to start getting impressions. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it now. Bill Hader, Godfrey, uh, 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 Ari Spears. Uh, uh, who's the dude from Saturday Night Live? Oh, I just, I just drew a blank. But anyway, we... Yo, let me know what I should react to. We got to start. The fact that you would even have my name next to his and the directing and the writing that he did on Barry. Bill Hader is like ridiculously underappreciated by all those, those foofy award shows. It's ridiculous. This guy's a monster talent. And I think it's time he gets his goddamn hardware. What do you think of that? <laughs> Does Bill Burr start on time? Usually not because we have to have yonder bags and that's your guy's fault because you fucking assholes Every five seconds, you got to sit there and film. Oh my God, what's my life right now? And then you edit it like CNN and Fox News to make me look as bad as possible to try to get me in trouble so you can get some more friends. I was here on time, right? I am on time, all right? I don't know how that yonder shit works. Did Bill Burr write F is for Family? I wrote on it. I co-created the show with the great Mike Price. Michael was the captain of the ship. It was a big writer's room. There was 10 people in the room, including myself. And that's another question people have, you know, is my dad like Frank? Frank was an amalgam of all of our dads. And I actually think towards the end, he was more me than anything. Yeah, Bill Burr has done everything. Bill Burr has absolutely done everything and he's doing everything. And it seems like what I love seeing is like the older Bill gets, I feel like the more appreciated he gets, and the bigger he gets, somehow he's still getting bigger. Like, he just had a Breakfast Club interview. You know what I mean? Where I'm like, I, shout out to whoever your management team and whoever your booking is doing to. Shout out to you, but we got to shout out them too because they, they, they spit in the block for Bill, bro. Amalgam of all of our dads. And I actually think towards the end, he was more me than anything. Bill Burr, Adam Sandler. This is about that movie, Leo. I am blown away by, first of all, how great the writing was on it, oh, how cool way, Adam. I'm sorry, I don't know why it took this long to say this. You know I just dropped a song with Metro Boomin, right? Yeah, 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 the Metro Boomin wants some more, right? It's a older, it's a song that I used to, I had back in the day, never had a music video, never had a real release to it. I just dropped a music video on my main channel. Already to 30,000 views. Shout out to everybody. Make sure after this video, you go check that out. Matter of fact, go drop a comment and be like, yo, I'm from the Comedy Face channel. That would make my day. If I go through them comments and see y'all trends, because that means that you are a real one. You are a real screw face, John supporter. Lay you to death. Thank you. Second of all, look at Bill Burr's little watch. I see you. Little Swizzy. Uh, little uh, Plain Jane. I like that. Respect. I see you, you trying to be modest. You got some hard work. That's some hard work. Adam was to, I am blown away by, first of all, how great the writing was on it, how cool Adam was to work with. I did get to get in the booth with him a couple of times. He's widely regarded out here as just the nicest guy. And he literally is that guy, shows up basketball shorts, big hoodie. That's what oh, what's going on? Says. You know, he's just awesome. I made him laugh a couple times, which was like the biggest thrill of my life. But the big thing about that movie that I love is, the amount of kids of all ages and parents that have come up to me and said how much they related to it, which I really think is a testament to everyone that wrote. The writing on it was just next level. Bill Burr, next one. Best stand-up. I have ones that I like for a personal reason, and somebody brought this one up. I did this bit um, on some benefit. Steve Jobs has died, and I did a bit making fun of him. It was something about how they said he changed the world. It was basically making fun of how he took credit for everything. And it's not on any of my specials. It's not on any albums or CDs. And I remember doing it and knowing that. Let me know if I should react to that one. I don't know. It's not on a special album. It's probably floating somewhere on YouTube. Let me know. Let me, let me know. That it was only going to be there. Didn't save it for a special. And that it would be this cool thing. And then I also loved it because it was a really rich crowd. They were like auctioning oh, off like guitars and people paying like six it. figures for them. So I felt like their reaction, the way I was making fun of them, was like they actually knew the guy, which made it even more enjoyable to do. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is Bill Burr's opener? When you go to see me live, I don't bring cupcakes on the road. I'm not looking for a career opener. Everybody that's open for me has gone on to headline. 
and crush it. Paul oh, Verzi, yeah. who just shot a special. He used to open for me. He hasn't opened for me now in like six years. We still work a couple of times a year together. Joe Bartnick's another guy that moved on. Joey B. And right now I've been working with Dean Del Rey, Bianca Cristoval, and uh, Nate Craig. There's an energy you put out as a comedian when you're doing new stuff. There's an excitement. You're present and all of that, and it's contagious. And when I watch them trying out new stuff, you know, I don't want to be the dud, you know, on the show. I, I want to do something too. So, like, I, I think it's really important to bring somebody that you believe can make it. Um, all right, Bill Burr. You know what's crazy is I just realized that I've always liked stand-up comedy. I've always liked comedy, always been, like, a big fan. But I've always been more, like, a casual um Bill Burr is the person who actually kind of got me to be a little less of a casual and more of like in the know because Paul Verzi, Joe DeRosa, all of these people I learned about from Bill Burr. Like I actually have an extensive knowledge of comedy and comedians, especially like the Boston scene, the New York scene, because of watching his podcast, listening to his podcast, literally. Um, so I literally just realized that because all the names of the openers, he says like, dang, I literally learned about all of those people from Bill Burr, you know? It's crazy, he's a silly, funny guy, but Bill is, I put him up there with some of my favorite rappers. He's just one of my favorite entertainers, literally. To bring somebody that you believe can make it. Um, all right, Bill Burr, let's see here. Bill Burr Elvis. Elvis. He was the first, I feel like, post-television superstar and had to deal with a level of fame where there was no roadmap. He's the original behind the music. And if you look, he made every fucking mistake. <laughs> Surrounded himself with yes men, did drugs, married a 16 year old. I mean, he just did everything. I don't wanna get into this too much, but you know what I mean. Died alone on a toilet. Bill How you Euro step the 16 year old is crazy. Uh, uh, 16 year old. Uh <laughs> Burr, Fenway. That was something that was so big, I think I only recently thought about it. I'll never forget just being on stage and seeing Fenway Park, because we were out in center field. My family, we used to always sit out in right field. It was a great time. And uh, to be able to come back all of those oh, years later to get that kind girl. of love from my home city was incredible. And it's not something that I will uh, ever forget. Those questions all seemed like they were from fans. I'm surprised it wasn't meaner. <laughs> Shout out to the GOAT, Bill Burr. Man, uh, hit the thumbs up button. I really hope this, uh, uh, this video does well so we can do more of it.